Hi folks, I've been having some trouble lately when I've been flying in the Scottish Highlands with the very cold weather. The drones won't start, uh, basically says heat the battery up before you start um, the drone. So I thought I'll come up with some solution to, to fix that. So I came up with this freestanding self-contained LiPo battery heater. And as you can see I've had it in some pretty horrendous conditions. Um, and this is, I'm going to go into now the details of how I built that and the design. I started by buying this, um, it's an ammo box for kids, I got it for £8.50 at the Army Surplus store. Um, I thought about buying a full size one but it was just a bit big for my, the dimensions that I wanted. Um, I have Phantom, uh, Spark and some smaller drones. So the big batteries weren't necessary. Now it was essential that I lined the box with some insulation. Um, this is foil insulation with bubble wrap sandwiched in between it. So I got these, it's universal heated motorcycle hand grips, 12 volts and they run about 25 watts. This is in here. It's in a parallel circuit, it came um, pre-wired, all you had to do was wire it to a switched switch live. And um, this is unfitted in the box, I put a rubber base underneath them, a um, few reasons, but the main reason was just to take them off the bottom of the box, away from the foil and extra insulation also mounted them on that rubber. Um, I cut out a couple of notches in the rubber to, to tidy the cables up and then I stuck some extra 2mm rubber on the top just to dampen the heat coming off them. It wasn't as fierce when I done that. So I left that loose, it just sits in there um, so I can take it out and make any modifications because it's still in the, the kind of early days, I might tweak something. This is the finished box, thermostat, paint job, full shebang. It's got an external power supply and it can run off an internal battery. Uh, this is a Phantom 4 battery which fits in it. Sorry, it's a Phantom battery that fits in it. Uh, it's also a Spark battery. Um, it's a fairly sizable box so you can put big batteries in there. You can probably get the Parrot battery in there. Two or three ba Parrot batteries in there easily actually. Um, and also some other LiPo batteries possibly for other applications. But I use it purely for drone batteries. Taking them into the Highlands of Scotland taking them out of the car, they might be sitting beside me for half an hour, 45 minutes before I actually need them. By that time they've cooled down because it's so cold here just now. Um, so this is the box. I've set it at 20 degrees. Um, temperature comes on about 18, cuts off at 20, so it keeps it between those. It goes slightly higher on the heat upside. Um, it goes up to about 22, which is fine. That's, that's perfectly acceptable. This is inside the box. I've wired an external lead so that it can um, get plugged into the box or outside the box. So in this case I'm going to plug it into the 300 milliamp hour LiPo battery. Um, there's no switches, it just comes on straight away. So it's at 16 degrees just now and that battery will heat it up to 20, or about 21, 22. And then I can put in my other batteries as well. So you can see how much space I've got there, I've got a lot of space. Um, I will be probably lining the box with something non-conductive, but the battery contacts are in a position that they're not easy to, to short, you know, so I, I might just use a wee bit of foam, thin foam or something. Extra insulation as well. So this is the heat up speed. Uh, I've just been out in the snow with it, so it's been out in zero degrees and it's chucking it down. Um, it's not particularly fast because it is, like I say, a 25 watt heater. So, but it's constant, you know, it's a, it goes up at a constant speed. So it's, it's more reliable and it's also not very power hungry either. It would be good in your car, you know, it wouldn't drain your battery. Because it switches on and off as well. Good insulation is key. The better the insulation, the longer you'll last. So I've, I've put in sufficient insulation for, like say, in the car in the winter. Um, it won't drain the battery in the car. So we'll try it over the coming weeks and months. Um, it's very cold here just now, like I say in Scotland, so I'll get a lot of usage out of it. It'll be great for just keeping the batteries in while I'm heading over the fields and up the hills and at the bottom of the rucksack. So when I get them out, they're nice and toasty and I don't have to stick them down my pants to heat them up. But uh, proof's in the pudding, guys. So it heats up fairly quick, as you can see. Um, and it's... I think it's a winner. I really do. I like it. I like it a lot. 
see what you guys think.